Hello and welcome to Auten Math. Today we're going to talk about absolute value equations and inequalities. This is one of my favorite topics, so I hope you'll follow along closely. There's a lot to learn. Okay, before we get started with absolute value equations and problems involving equations and inequalities, let's talk about absolute value vocabulary. So what is absolute value? Absolute value is just the distance from a number of a number from zero on a number line. Okay, and we can write the absolute value of x with two bars on either side of that particular value. Okay, so it means that if you have a negative value in the absolute value sign, the absolute value of negative 5 is going to be 5. So any negative in the absolute value uh, symbols become a positive value. And all pa positive values are just positive value. So let's think about the number line. I'm at point 0 and I want to travel to two places. From point zero, going to Starbucks, it's five units. So I have to walk five units to get to Starbucks to get my double latte espresso. Or if I wanted my taquitos and a large uh, big gulp or a monster drink, I'd have to travel negative five units. Okay? Or I'd go negative five on the number line. But in reality, in both cases, I'm traveling a positive distance. Okay, if I go to 7-Eleven, I'm going from 0 to negative 5. That's negative 5, but in the actual distance, I'm traveling 5 units. If I go to Starbucks, I'm also traveling 5 units. So absolute value just tells me the distance between that point 0 on a number line and any other number. It doesn't tell me that um, I have to subtract a certain value to get to this value. It just tells me the absolute distance between these two values. So that's what an absolute value is. Okay, so let's solve some absolute value equations. First example I have is the absolute value of 4x plus 12 is equal to 28. Uh, so if it's in the form absolute value of ax plus b is equal to c, where a is some positive number, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write two equations, one uh, with a value of c, as it is, and one with a value of negative c. And when I do that, I'm going to remove the absolute value symbol. So you can see in the example, I've got, uh, I went from the absolute value of 4x plus 12 is equal to 28 to 4x plus 12 is equal to 28, and 4x plus 12 is equal to negative 28. And then I'm going to solve each equation. So uh, in the first example, I subtract 12 from both sides. I'm left with 16. I divide by 4. x is equal to 4. And I uh, solve the equation on the right-hand side. 4x plus 12 is equal to negative 28. I subtract 12 from both sides. I end up with 4x is equal to negative 40. I now divide by 4, and I'm left with x is equal to negative 10. So the solution to this particular problem is that x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 10. Either one of those work. Now, you always want to make sure that you check your solutions when you're done. In this case, if you go ahead and check 4 and 10 into the absolute value equality uh, or equation, you'll find out that both of those values are true. So you can write those two as the answer. Now, solving absolute value inequalities is just a little bit trickier. All right? So that's when, as you recall, when we dealt with uh, uh, linear inequalities, we have symbols that look like little carrots, greater than, greater than, or less than, less than, less than. I'm sorry, greater than or equal to, less than, less than, or equal to. So I'm going to use the same value that I used in the absolute value symbol from the last problem, 4x plus 12. And then I'm going to change the equal sign to a less than, or an inequality symbol, less than 28. So I have the absolute value of 4x plus 12 is less than 28. Now the first thing you want to do is consult the table to rewrite the inequality based on the given inequality symbol and solve. And I'm going to show you the inequality table now and we'll refer to it later at the end of the discussion in a couple minutes. So if you have a value that's less than something, so absolute value uh, inequality where it's less than some value, then you're going to have a graph that is, uh, whose solution is going to be in between two points. So less than, less than, or equal to, then the solution is going to be in between the two points. If it's going to be greater, and there's a typo here, if it's greater than or greater than or equal to, 
then it's going to be outside of the two points. So I'll have ax plus b is less than negative c, or ax plus b is greater than c. So we're going to go through a similar process as we did with the equations, but you'll have to remember if it's initially less than, it's going to be in between two points. It's going to be and. And, or if it's greater than c, then you're going to have a solution which is outside of the two points. So you're going to have a solution set which includes the statement or. OK, so let's go back and let's take a look at some problems involving absolute uh, value inequalities. OK, so I gave you the equation 4x plus 12, absolute value of 4x plus 12 is less than 28. We identified the symbol as less than. We consulted the table. We found that the less than symbols, if it's less than or less than or equal to, then the solution will be greater than the smallest value and less than the largest value. So it'll be between the two values. So we're going to go through the same process we did as with the equalities. We separate into two equations, uh, changing the c value to both plus and minus. And we have 4x plus 12 is less than 28. We solve for that. We have x is less than 4. On the right-hand side, 4x plus 12 is greater than negative 28. x is greater than negative 10. And so we're left with a value that represents, or a solution set that represents uh, something in between those two points, negative 4 and 10. x needs to be greater than negative 10 and less than negative 4. And that's your solution. So remember, if it's less than, you're going to use and. It's going to be greater than the smallest value and less than the largest. and if you use or, which is our next example, it's going to be outside of the two values. So it's going to be smallest, smaller than the smallest and greater than the largest. And you're going to use or. OK, so let's tackle this problem. So if it's greater than absolute value inequality, if we have a greater than symbol, or greater than or equal to, then the solution will be greater than the largest value or less than the smallest value. It's going to be on the opposite sides of the two values. So I go through my process again. I changed, again, I changed the inequality from less than to greater than. My example is the same, 4x plus 12 now is greater than 28, or 4x plus 12 is going to be uh, greater than 28. Excuse me, less than negative 28. So notice here that we're changing the direction of the symbol, the inequality symbol, when we change the sign of the c value. So in this case, 4x plus 12 is greater than 28. I left the direction the same. When I uh, change the c value to a negative value, or when I apply the negative value to the c value, I change the direction so now it's less than. And we did that, if you recall, uh, in the prior value, excuse me, the prior value where we were using, uh, excuse me, where we were using less than. We had a less than 28, and we changed the symbol to greater than uh, negative 28. Okay, so back to our example. I've got 4 negative, excuse me. I've got 4x plus 12 is greater than 28. I uh, rewrite as 4x plus 12 is greater than 28 or 4x plus 12 is less than negative 28. I solve, now I have x is greater than 4 or x is less than negative 10. Okay, so as we consult our table, again, I have a greater than symbol. The greater than symbol, I know it's going to be outside of the two values. It's going to be less than negative c or greater than c. OK, so my solution is going to be less than negative 10, or x is greater than negative 4. All right, so now we need to talk about how do we handle uh, when we have a negative coefficient for the variable. So when we have a negative coefficient for the variable, when we divide by that negative coefficient to get the coefficient for x equal to a positive 1, we're going to have to change the direction of the inequality symbol. All right, so when we divide all sides of the inequality by a negative coefficient in order to isolate the variable, we're going to have to change or switch the inequality symbol to maintain the integrity of the inequality. So I started out with a similar uh, inequality that I had before in the other examples, but now I'm changing 4 to negative 4. So again, I rewrite, I have a less than value, so I know it's going to be and. So I have negative 4x plus 12 is less than 28, and negative 4x plus 12, again, now I switch the inequality symbols greater than negative 28. I rewrite, now let's work on the left-hand side inequality, negative 4x is less than 16. I divide by negative 4 now 
to isolate x and with a coefficient of positive 1. And when I do that, I have to switch the direction of the inequality symbol. So now it's x is greater than negative 4. On the right-hand side, negative 4x plus 12 is greater than negative 28. I subtract both sides, uh, subtract 12 from both sides. I'm left with negative 4x is greater than negative 40. I have to divide by negative 4 again to isolate x. When I do that, I have to switch the uh, direction of the inequality symbol. So now I'm left with x is less than 10. All right, so now my solution is going to be x is greater than negative uh, 4 and less than 10. And that's how you handle the uh, using or uh, removing negative coefficients to make them a positive 1 as a coefficient and isolating the variable on the left-hand side of the inequality. Okay, so just back to our table. If I have an absolute value uh, inequality where it's less than or less than or equal to C, then I know it's going to be and, so the inequality is going to be less than uh, C but greater than or and greater than negative C. So if you were to graphically draw or represent the solution, it would be between two points. If I have the absolute value of AX plus B is greater than C, then it's going to be AX plus B is less than negative C, or AX plus B is greater than C. Uh, your solution is going to be outside of the two points. Now remember when you have an equal sign, that little dash under the inequality, you're going to use a closed circle to represent uh, that that point is part of the solution. When it's an open circle, you're going to use an open, or it's representing that that point is not part of the solution.